Welcome to another informative video brought to you by Ortruo. In today's series, we will be looking at pet blowing technology. The complexities involved will be discussed in detail and couple with a practical example. Stay tuned. Hi Andrew. I just checked your apartment now. But no one was around. Yeah. I just feel like relaxing here. You know the best place to relax is in the woods. Listening to birds and other animals couple with the natural breeze that come with it is a feeling that come naturally. Well. I think I should count myself lucky then. If I hadn't checked the garden out of curiosity, then I would have thought you are not around. Well, here we are. How was your day? Hope it went well. Perfect, bro. Eh. Toi dans les bois comme d'habitude. Oui, frère. Simplement se détendre. J'espère que tout s'est bien passé sur le terrain. Parce que la plupart du temps, vous revenez normalement en chantant et en scandant l'hymne de votre équipe. Tu sais, normalement je serais venu te rejoindre là-bas. Eh bien, le match retour arrive la semaine prochaine. En cuisine pour préparer la soupe à l'oignon. D'accord Ne finis pas tout. D'accord Je ne le ferai pas. Who was that That was my neighbor, Mitchell. He is a die-hard fan of our province team. I was just teasing the dude up. Because I knew if everything has gone right. He would have been singing and most especially if it was a derby win. Okay. Please can you explain pet automation? You mean turning of preform into pet bottles? Yes. The inscription. The shape and some other features. Pet blowing process are done through three major processes. This are heating of preform, blowing and stretching the preform into pet bottles. The bottle inscriptions and form is done through the molding block. The mold is designed as per customer requirements. Let break the three process down. The preform materials will be allowed to pass through a very hot zone. This zone is known as heating oven. The aim is to soften the preform material to a form that that it can easily been turned into preform when blown with compressed air. Because without heating up this preform material, it will be very difficult to be blown into pet. The heat in the oven is generated by set of lamp arrange according to their lumen rating. The lower rating are usually placed at the entrance of the oven while the lamps with high rating are placed at the middle or the center of the oven. And low rating lamp are also placed at the exist end of the oven. The reason for this placement is to gradually increase the applied heat directed at the preform as it pass through the oven. Now that the preform has been heated up, the preform will be transferred to the blower mold through a set of grippers. In the mold the preform will be blown by applied compressed air. This air will be used to blown the already soft preform into bottles. When blown the preform will begins to take shape. But because this blown shape is not properly formed, hence the poorly blown preform will be stretched per the required length that is needed and it will also be blown simultaneously. The combination of this stage will resort to fully blown bottles. After blowing, the temperature of bottles will be quickly cooled before the pet will be transferred to the discharge star wheels. The movement of the stretching rod is achieved by a special device which is known as linear motor. As we all know, linear motion is a motion that move in a straight line. So this type of device will suit this application. 
Linear encoder will be used to track the linear movement of the rod. When encoder value has been reached during the linear displacements, the final blowing valves will be activated. Activation of this valve allow compressed air to be applied to blowing pet simultaneously with the stretched rod. In today market, machine designer adds some unique feature in their design. This feature varies from one designer to another. And it is these features that give competitive and performance edge over their counterparts. A little research on goggle will be very handy. Overall, the pet blowing process involves three step which are heating, blowing with compressed air and pet stretching. Now let look at the basic technology that is associated with this machines. Photoelectric sensor was used to detect pet movements along the pet rails. Pressure transmitter was also used to detect the applied air pressure. Temperature transmitter was also used to detect the temperature of the applied cooling fluids. Finally rotary and linear motor was used for circular rotation of the machine and the linear movements of the stretching rod. All these are what make up a pet blowing machine. The preform will be sent to the blowing machine through the preform rail. Heat are generated from set of lamp that their rays are reflected off a metallic medium. This will be used to heat up the pet at a varying temperature as it moves along the oven. After it has been heated up, the blowing machine will be used to blow and stretch the preform to a predetermined length. Now this is what it entailed to turn preform into pet. I think I have been able to shed some little light on this. I want to catch up with that dude. Before he will finish off the super loignon that he is preparing. Now let do a quick recap. We started off looking at the three major process that are involved in pet automation. We look at how stretching process works. Finally, we ended off looking at how sensory technology and transmitters are used to monitor and control the machine. Hope you have learned something new today. See you in the next one.